Okay. Are we ready? I don't know. Let's see. Are you live? Okay. All right. Hello, folks. It is the Pod Squad with Darlene Brown, Wendy Card, and yours truly, Kathy Morris. We want to thank you for joining us for New Bird Now's podcast for today, May 13, 2021. And this is episode 184. Wow. Yeah. Darlene. Hey, how are you all doing? All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're connecting you with people, places, and happenings in New Bern and surrounding areas. And we invite you all to join the conversation by commenting on this live stream on New Bern Now's Facebook page, because we want to know what you think. And that's how we learn about each other in the community at large. But first, yeah. Wendy, what do we have? First, we have a contest. And in order to play the contest or to be entered, you have to comment on this live stream on New Bern Now's Facebook page. If you comment somewhere else on a page that it was shared on, I may not have access to it. So, um, wait, that's yeah. me. You got All some right. feedback going on. So, so Kathy has the contest. Question. I have a question. Yeah, this time Wendy doesn't know the answer. Shoot. Ding, ding, ding. We've got all kinds of bells going off. I didn't turn them off. Is it Christmas? It's <laughs> Christmas. It's God. <laughs> I didn't push the button, kill the whole thing. I Christmas, Christmas in May. So the bell, the bells herald the question. So here comes the trivia question. <laughs> and then this one I think is so easy that, that lots of people are going to know it. And Wendy's going to have to pick the name out of the hat to pick the winner. Well, good. But the question is, what's the name of the ferry across the News River that was upstream from New Bern? It was established prior to 1730. So before 1730, and its name sounds like you're on solid ground. <laughs> That's okay. really good. That's really good, Kathy. Okay, so I- Much, I, much better I than the ones I right. pick. That, oh. that, that is a good one. So, I, I, yeah. Okay, Very so, good. so where do they have to put the answer? Uh, they have to comment on New Bernal's Facebook page. Okay, and, and what are they gonna win? It, if, they're, they're, if they're the only person that guesses right, answers right, they'll win a gift certificate to a local business. Okay. But if there's numerous answers, then we just will tally it up and at seven o'clock tonight, we'll announce the winner. So, all right. Yeah, we've got a great lineup and, and, yeah. and Darlene Brown is joining us as a member of the pod squad for the first time. Are. Darlene Thank Brown you. is Partners in Education, yay. Yay. What's happening? Well, I'm excited to be here. And uh, of course, I've got my uh, my pie lanyard on so <laughs> that if I get lost, you know where to send me back to. But uh, we're getting ready for a pie luncheon. And Wait, uh, we're doing it both in person and virtually. This is the program for the uh, in-person luncheon. And uh, we're only allowing uh, pie grant winners to come to, um, to this event. So um, uh, we're going to have Dr. Excuse me, I'm uh, I'm glad I'm not the only um, You know, life. It's called life. Um, we're going to have uh, our speaker is uh, this uh, is Dr. Uh, Brian Johnson. He's a 2021 National Superintendent of the Year finalist. And he's with Hamilton County Schools out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. And I'm gonna show it one more time. It's uh, our theme is relate, achieve, believe. And uh, if you see it at the bottom there, who tells your story? And you see he's with Hamilton County. And what's the most popular song from the musical Hamilton? Who tells your story? See wow. what we did there? It's called an Easter egg. Wow. <laughs> so he's gonna, he's gonna speak to our teachers about coming through this pandemic even stronger and, um, and better than when they went in. And uh, we're really excited to hear from him. He's gonna be a great right. speaker. Now, awesome. when is that gonna be? That's gonna be on May 27th at the Havelock Tourist and Event Center. And then 
because uh, we're we're only allowed so many people into the event. Like I said, we're only allowing our our grant winners in. So we're going to have a virtual event on Friday, and I'm inviting all of you to attend virtually. It's gonna uh, the video will will start. It's a pre-recorded video. We'll start at noon. Not really noon, but it'll be up on the website, you know, a little bit before then. <laughs> but we're saying officially noon uh, on CravenPartners.com, and you can click on it. There'll be some of our uh, bands from some of the schools will be playing, and John Bircher is our MC, and uh, Dr. Johnson is doing a pre-recorded speech, and uh, he says it's going to knock our socks off. So we're really looking forward to that because this man has invested in Craven County Schools. And by coming here in person and doing some and providing a pre-recorded uh, presentation that we can offer virtually, and that a virtual event is free. Just click on CravenPartners.com, follow the link, and uh, and you'll be ready to watch it. So we're really super excited about that. That's a big deal. Yeah, yeah. And you weren't able to have it last year, right? No, we did the same thing. We did it virtually last year. And, you know, you just kind of learn. Um, last year, we actually, considering that we had four weeks to pull it off and, and go and switch from in-person to virtually, um, we are, I work with Kim Scott, who is assistant principal at Oaks Road. She's kind of my director of our videos. I got to give all props to her. And uh, we just contacted the schools. We're like, send us something that we can put on. Uh, Bill Green and his son, they were, they uh, performed the national anthem. Keith Davis, who is assistant principal at JT Barber, sang You Are My Sunshine and did a shout out to, to the teachers talking about what they meant to him and what they mean to our school system. And it was just all around uplifting and fabulous. Last year, our, teach, our uh, speaker, is the 2020 National Superintendent of the Year, uh, Dr. Curtis Jones out of uh, Bibb County Schools from my old stomping grounds in Macon, Georgia. So I had a little connection there with him. And I'll tell you, he was sad for the soul for these teachers. He told them exactly what they needed to hear, that they would come through this pandemic and when they did, they would come out stronger and better. And, uh, uh, and we're looking forward to that kind of uh, message from Dr. Johnson this year. So, so tune in, uh, cravenpartners.com, uh, Friday, May 28th at somewhere around noon. <laughs> Take yeah. your sandwich and sit down in front of the computer. That's right. That's right. So yeah. I know that a lot of our teachers are going to get together and they're going to have uh, kind of group viewing and that's, that's what they did last year. So, so we're it's excited like a, about it. It's like a super pie uh, party. You know, you get you get together and watch the virtual luncheon. No, no. Exactly. Well, <laughs> you know, it's funny. We've had this is our tenth pie luncheon, and you know what I've and the flame is the caterer at Havelock Church and Event Center, so you know the food's going to be good. But you know something I've never done? I've never served pie for dessert. <laughs> I don't know why not. <laughs> I know, really. So uh, we're going to have apple pie for dessert this year at the Havelock Tourism Event Center. So I'm excited about that. So oh, that's, that's nice. <laughs> All right. Yeah. And hey. we, well, we have Colleen Roberts. Hello, beautiful ladies. Hello, Colleen. We miss you. So Hello, Colleen is a city public information officer. Thanks for watching, Colleen, and we'll, hopefully we'll see you soon. And Darlene, um, getting back to the Craven uh, County Partners in Education, also known as PI, Craven PI, um, tell us a little bit about uh, the, you do a lot of grants, you do so much. Let the, can you let people that may not know um, what you do, you know, let us know what, what actually you do for our community. You do a lot. So, well, I would, you know, all you got to do is turn me on and I can talk about pie all day long. Um, what we do, it, we're not a foundation. We're a 501c3 nonprofit. So we're separate from C Craven County Schools, but we have um, uh, an agreement. Uh, Craven County commissioners were very smart. Back in 1998, they started uh, pie as it is today. 
uh, with the understanding that Craven County Schools would support PI administratively. So, um, so that's why I'm in the Craven County Schools building, but um, uh, and have a Craven County Schools phone. So uh, that kind of tells you how I got where we are. But what we do is we raise money to give to teachers. And I remember a long time ago, uh, well, when I was hired here 10 years ago, Gary Curry said to me, our mission is to make it easy to give teachers money. That's really kind of it. I, that's not our official mission, but it's my personal mission. So when we raise money through our events or stuff the bus or fund drive, we have several different ways we raise money. That money goes di directly to teachers. And we're very fortunate because we have low administrative costs because we're in the Craven County Schools building. So um, this past year, we gave out over $400,000 in grants and programs. Is that just not incredible? Yes, that's, that's wonderful. Wonderful. That's awesome. Now, wonderful. That, that includes Stuff the Bus, the, the, the uh, school supplies, because we have an inventory system where we track all the, everything that we get in. So that includes Stuff the Bus, Pancakes for Pie, where we raise money for that. That includes a lot of grants that we get and we call them pass-through grants. So like International Paper gives us $10,000 to award as literacy grants. So we have uh, several companies, um, um, Bosch and uh, Weyerhaeuser and uh, you know, uh, Toyota of New Bern, uh, Suddenlink, they all give us money that we can make grants available to teachers and we vet the grants so that the funder doesn't have to go through and figure out who they're going to fund and who they're not. So we have a, a, a vetting process through, with our board where they go through and they make sure everything that the teachers are applying for adhere to Craven County Schools curriculum, uh, North Carolina curriculum, uh, technology, because you don't wanna bring just any technology and you wanna be sure that our technology staff can work on it and service it. So we have a, um, a, a pretty serious vetting system and rubric that we follow with these grants. So these, you know, a lot of, uh, we, we really, we have some individuals who fund some grants, believe it or not. I mean, they just believe in what we're doing and they'll call up and say, I want to, I want to fund a grant. So we talk to them about our requirements, what our requirements are to do that. And, uh, and we fund grants as, uh, Mike and Annie McCoy, um, they fund a $500 uh, a year grant in uh, honor of their daughter, Annie, and mm -hmm. it rises each year. She was a third grader this year. So next year it will go up to a fourth grader. Wow, and she's growing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, so that's, that's what we do. So how do, how do people reach you if they wanna help out? Well, um, you can visit our website again, cravenpartners.com. My phone number is 514. 6321. You can call here at Craven County School Central Services and they'll patch you through to me. Um, or you can uh, send me an email, darlene.brown at cravenk12.org. That's again, that's on our website. But, um, uh, you know, feel free to call if you have any questions about what we do. And um, we're, I'm anybody that knows me, I'm into continuous improvement. I'm always trying to improve everything that I do. And uh, uh, um, sometimes that's good and sometimes it makes a whole lot of work, but that's okay. You're, you're what, again, my mission always is to make it easy for teachers to get money through pie. All right. Awesome. Wonderful. Great program. Yeah. And, and Kathy, you've got a lot of stuff coming up with this well, New Bern Historical Society. We have a, a new, uh, a new event, which really is going to be a lot of fun. It's the New Bern History Quest. And it's kind of like a historic scavenger hunt. It's on June 5th. And we ask you to get a team together. And your, your team is whoever fits in your car up to six people. So you get your team together. We'll start at New Bern Battlefield Park. We'll give you a packet of clues. And that will lead you to various pieces and places around New Bern. And you'll find pieces of history and, uh, and you'll answer the questions and, and collect up the information you need to collect and then come on back to the battlefield, hand in your answers, see if you got them all right. And if you got them all right, everybody who gets all the, all the answers right 
gets a slip to go into a drawing for prize baskets. We've got some neat prize baskets, all of them above $200 in value. So everybody who gets all the answers right goes into the drawing for the basket. And then if you do some extra answers, if you do the super quest part of the quest, you get another chance to go into the drawing. And then if you take some extra photos, you get a chance to go into the drawing. So there's lots of chances to get a uh, to have the opportunity to go in the drawing and, uh, and we'll, uh, we'll uh, draw and we have uh, Sherlock here. There's Sherlock. Oh, hold on, let's see. <laughs> That's Sherlock the bear. Sherlock the bear. I love that. The, who did, who did the, the graphics? This is done by John Klecker, one of our volunteers. And we just said, you know, it'd be cool to have a bear. And he made wonderful Sherlock here. Sherlock T. Bear, Sherlock the bear. And Sherlock is the official bear of the Newburn History Quest. And you'll get a Sherlock of your very own and it will have your team name on it instead of saying team name. It's the everybody who, everybody who enters names your team, whether it's you know the Smiths or the Joneses or the Looney Tunes, whatever, whatever fun name you wanna have is your team name. So when you go and you take your picture, you'll have your team. So you'll get to, you'll get to have your selfies done with Sherlock. So it's, you know, we're, we're building it to just be lots of fun. Uh, some of the clues simply say, okay, go to this street and turn west. Now they're the only tricky part is, do you know which way is west? <laughs> Laura wouldn't, she'd get lost. <laughs> but, you know, and some of them are puzzles. And uh, yes, if you're 12 years old, a rebus is simple for you. If you're 40 or 50 years old, you're gonna say, what's a rebus? <laughs> So we have some practice puzzles on our Facebook page so you can learn how to do the puzzles. And, uh, and sometimes you're just, you're asked a question, uh, you know, wh what is this bit of history and this will lead you to something else. The good part is you can use any source of information you want. You can use your smartphone, you can phone a friend, you can ask your teammates who are in the car with you you can, uh, you can stop by the library and look something up. You can call Uncle Fred, who's sitting at home in front of the computer. You can, <laughs> any source, except eavesdrop on the other team. So you, you, you got to do your own work. You can't, you know, steal an idea or a thought or an answer from another team. But we do want to make it fun and, uh, and something that you can do and have a good time with. So it's, it's June the 5th. Uh, starts and ends at New Bern Battlefield Park. Get your team together. Sign up. Uh, go to newburnhistorical.org slash quest. And you'll find the information there. And you put down your team, you know, teammates and who's, who's going to be on your team and whatever clever name you've come up with. The cost is $20 per team. So that's for your whole carload of people. Um, and it's, you know, you'll be outdoors. So it's, you know, it should be a, a fun outdoor event. Uh, yes, and under the pavilion in the battlefield, we'll be careful and we'll have hand sanitizer and take care of all the COVID precautions we need to. So we'll make it safe for everybody. But it should be just a lot of fun. Your team can be your family, can be adults and kids. In fact, you might need the 10 and 12 year olds to answer the puzzles, you know. But the team can be your family. The team can be friends, coworkers. You know, what, what you think? You think the police are going to be better at this, or the firemen are going to be better at this? Well, I think we need to call Colleen. So, so if you're you're jammed up, call Colleen Roberts, the she public information officer team. for the city of New Bern. Yeah, and she needs, uh, yeah. she'll give you the answers there you go and we we need we need a new burn now team to be involved in yes this. i'm i i'm gonna sign up just to get do, do we get to keep the poster yes you get you because i sherlock. love that i love that i really do sherlock everybody will get a sherlock that's and awesome sherlock everywhere he's he's our our official bear official mascot so when you find the right place you're supposed to be you will also find sherlock so Sherlock will be at each location, so you know you got to the right spot. Well, that's a that's a wonderful market. You know, marketing. Sherlock is cool. We we like yeah. Sherlock, and he's we put him on a lot of our stuff. And uh, thank you, thank you to John Klecker for this wonderful piece of art. Yes, very. It's all he's cool. So anyway, really cool. I don't um, put a neat team together. Have a good time. It's Saturday, June fifth. Uh, give us a call if you have any questions, uh, 252-638-8558, 
or just go to newburnhistorical.org and, uh, and we'll be glad to have you with us. All right. And so what, what, anything else going on? The, this weather has been a little crazy and the gas is back. How many, did, did any of you go to the gas station? No, <laughs> I've got more than half a tank, so I'm not going to go anywhere. So yeah. <laughs> I, I'm good. I'm good. I did, is, when I get to a half a tank, I go fill up anyway. I mean, yeah. So it was funny because um, Tuesday morning uh, on my way into work, I stopped and got gas. And I was like, you know, I was like, well, there's nobody here. So I guess there's not going to be a run. So, OK. And then how I was like, oh, my God, people are putting gas in plastic bags. OK. <laughs> is, you know, that, ooh, that's scary. I didn't. Wow. I, I can't believe they could get away with it. You're not a lot. They're not a lot. You have to use the little thing, the jigs. Yeah. Um, right, don't you? I don't know. And, and apparently, I'm not a chemist, but apparently when gas hits that plastic bag, mm -hmm. um, it does something to the gas that makes it not fire how you need it to fire in your engines. So it's not That's, a good outcome. Yeah, yeah. not not good. Look at it. <laughs> no, just stay calm, folks. Don't buy gas unless you really need it. You know, don't add to the to the problem line. Just, you know, keep calm and carry on. Winston yeah. Churchill. There you go. And actually now the gas, I mean, I, I was just at our gas station off of uh, Washington Post and there was no long gas. It was just business as normal. So well, that's good. Yeah. So good. yeah. That's good. And, and we yeah. have Colleen said, what? Wow. <laughs> and Judy said, Judy, hi. Thanks for watching, Judy. Have um, they answered the question yet? Yeah, yeah, let's do the question yeah. again. I'm sorry, yeah. Colleen, Darlene. Can I give a shout out to the uh, Rotary Club of New Bern? Yes. Uh, they have something going on every Wednesday. They're meeting at 4.30 at Cypress Hall for like a happy hour. And you don't have to be a Rotary member to go, but uh, it's a networking event and you can learn more about Rotary. And this is a great, it's a great Rotary Club. It really is. It's what they call the noon Rotary that meets at the Chelsea. So um, you can go on Wednesdays at 4.30 at Cypress Hall and meet some Rotarians and find out what we're up to. And this was um, put together by um, Gary Flannery and Joe Peters and uh, a couple of the Rotarians uh, that are part of the, the membership and outreach program. So I would encourage everyone to go. It's uh, 4.30 to 6 or 6.30, but, um, but feel free to go and join them. And Cypress Hall is there in what the 300 block of Middle Street, right downtown. Right. Yeah, and they're I, they're the only ones that have that really cool window that is open. I, I just love seeing people just sitting, you know, watching people, watching people on the streets. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's a really cool building. Um, Good. And uh, I just want to announce: Have you heard that we're doing between the bridges? The yes. Bridges? Yeah. I've seen that. So we need to send you all of our information. Yeah, you need, if you have a friend, I know we used to do this back in high school. Um, if somebody's birthday was coming up, we'd call the radio station that morning at whatever time, and they'd announce the person's name on the radio. And it, oh my gosh, I was so embarrassed when my <laughs> friends would do that to me. But, you know, it was, it was a fun thing to do. It was Now, I don't know, you know, if they do that down here, but uh, where I grew up, uh, the woman who used to write for the local paper, she's now passed, but her name is Teddy Lindzenfelser, and this is kind of like a, in memory of her, because she had a, a weekly column, and it had birthday celebrations, anniversaries, it was, it was life moments, celebrations, graduations, retirements, um, from birth to death. So we provide all that information just in a little summary every Thursday. So it's usually probably around four or five o'clock uh, it, it publishes. So if you have a friend that you want to give a shout out to and if they get embarrassed, maybe that would be a fun thing to do for them. But um, not that we want to embarrass anyone, but anyhow. So where, do they, where do they send you their information? 
uh, email info at newburnnow.com. So, okay. so birthday, yeah. anniversaries, promotions, demotions. No, no yeah. demotions. Well, yeah, no devotions. Yeah, promote, not demote. Promotions, <laughs> new babies, christenings, <laughs> new babies. Yeah, yeah. Wedding, yeah. weddings, weddings, engagements. Um, yeah. you know, just just really, you know, interesting things. It really came in handy when I was um in the military because I would be over in Japan or whatever, and I'd finally get a chance to log on and I'd check my old, you know, the old hometown and look at, you know somebody's having a baby or you know it was just it kept me connected to my my home you know and uh but now new burns now my my home now but um it was it was a really unique you know feature it wasn't like a story or anything and we're also um putting in there as far as what nonprofits are doing like Dar darlene you just mentioned and you know if it's if we don't do a story or a press release on it, if it's just a tidbit of information, um, like what Darlene just said about the Noon Rotary Newburn mm -hmm. Noon Rotary Club, right? Yeah, at Cypress Hall, that could be you know nonprofit news, just you know tidbits of information. Um, if you have any folklore, you know, say you grew up in a part of town and there was a story about, you know, talking about like old uh, legends or no. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Darlene's giving me a funny look. <laughs> no, in New Orleans, we had onion head. So that's a whole nother story. So <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just talk a um, lot of weird stuff. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, when I go in the Croatan, I'm like, this is just an awesome place. It's like my favorite place. and. But no one, like, I see hunters and, you know, I'll see a stranded dog or not many people in the Croatan. And I'm like, okay, is there something that I don't know? I'm not from here. <laughs> <laughs> this, is Bigfoot in the Croatan? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Like, like newborn people know, like, if yeah. you grew up here, uh, let me know. So, you know, <laughs> send me an email at info at newbornnow.com. Like, please let me know because I don't know why it, nobody's out there. It's just a beautiful place. And now they, they plowed down um, where the food plots are. You could, before it was just so overgrown. Now it's just a beautiful walkways. And anyway, all right, I'll, I'll, I'll stop rambling about that great outdoors. <laughs> and let's see if Judy Hills is in the waiting room. Okay. No, we don't oh. have anyone in the waiting right. room. Let's remind folks of, of your trivia question, because yes. I would think that you'd have lots of folks know the answer to this. Uh, here it is. What is the name of the ferry across the News River? It's upstream from New Bern, and it was established prior to 1730. So it's a pretty old thing. And its name sounds like you're on solid ground, not in the middle of the river. Okay. That's a, that's a great one. <laughs> All right. So what's the name of, the, of, of that ferry upstream from us here? That means that way. <laughs> yeah. And there's a white sign, a white marker, yes. right? Yeah, there's a historic yeah. marker. Yes. There you that's go. Historic. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Somebody will know that. And I think lots of somebody's will know that. So. Put it on the Newburn Now Facebook page. And Ka meet Colleen, Judy, you guys can answer for a, a gift certificate for a local business. <laughs> All right. Okay. okay. Well, and, you know, we're also doing the In the Weeds. Um, Laura and I are, we are experimenting on a garden project. Oh. Um, I, I'm not a gardener. I don't know anything about pH soil or any of that kind of stuff. It's, it's really like, I, it's very intimidating for me. But um, so Laura did a garden like 17 years ago. So it's been a long time. So we're doing a lot of Googling. But guess what? Our first little red tomato came out. It was just a little baby one for the, yep, this week. And, and then now there's seven. So okay. now I can make a little little snack out of it. Yeah. Don't let I the squirrels get it before you do. 
No, the squirrels haven't touched it. Well, that's and, great. And the, the green beans are growing and the squash and it, it's, I can't believe things are actually growing. So a shock. Yeah. So, you know, to be able to eat instead of going to the grocery store, that's just <laughs> so cool, you know? Go out in the backyard and, and collect your, your dinner. What now a concept. Chickens and have some eggs. I want chickens. Yeah. But Finn's afraid of the, uh, my, our neighbors uh, behind us had this, uh, uh, the rooster and mm -hmm. it, the baby rooster was trying to make the, the sound and it was just really scary sounding. <laughs> so he was terrified, you know, it was just a little baby rooster. And so that, yeah, that would, that wouldn't be a good mix. That wouldn't be nice for Finn to in invade his territory <laughs> with something that, that made him he's, unhappy. Yeah, he's already fearful enough, and yeah. uh, you know our animals. But okay, you well, you're going to be ready for salad every night. Yeah. So what what the goal is? If we get a whole bunch of vegetables, we're going to throw it out each week and say, "Hey, who needs you know vegetables?" But mm -hmm we can bring it down to RCS or, you know, uh, the, mm -hmm. the food bank of ENC. And, you know, back in Scotland, they used to put coolers out at the end of driveways, mm -hmm. like with bread, people would just put like donations in if they, if they pay, or they just took the bread and, you know, it was just leftover. So I'm thinking maybe we'll do that in the neighborhood. So that sounds neat. Yeah, now we'll probably I... steal the cooler, but. <laughs> <laughs> only time I tried to do tomatoes, and actually I've tried a few times since then, but we got beautiful big tomatoes and watched them turn from green to red and they were just right. And the squirrel came along and he grabbed it, looked at it, took a bite of it, one bite, <laughs> and then said, I don't want this and put it down and went away. Wow, I didn't know squirrels would eat that, huh? So he, well, he didn't want it after he ruined it for us. <laughs> so, no, one bite and put it, put it right down there so we could see it and said, no, I'm not having this. Mm -mm, so, mm -mm. I don't know. Who so knows? now I try flowers instead of tomatoes. Yeah, and then so, you know, what's that? Who knew squirrels were picky, picky eaters? That's right. <laughs> they just want to ruin it for everyone i know, I know. and uh there we got some stuff happening around town you know since yes since, we do since, since things are opening up and people are getting vac vaccinated um and we're not lecturing anyone and uh, you know it's a lot of uh people that are doing these events you know do require um uh follow covid precautions and what's happening uh, on the 14th, which is tomorrow, is pasta with a purpose spaghetti lunch fundraiser for Jaslyn McRaven. And that's from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. And, and that's at Without Limits Christian Church. And uh, you need to purchase the, the lunches ahead of time. So I think today is the last day to do that. So go to wlcconline.com slash shop. All right, also, yeah. also on the 14th, Art Walk's coming back. Art Walk is on the 14th from five to eight o'clock. And at the, all the participation, participating, all those folks that are joining in, galleries and businesses in and around New Bern, and if you'd like to know more about it, give them a call at 638-2577. Yeah, well, and there's a lot. So that's the Craven Arts Council is mm -hmm. putting on Art Walk. But there's also a few businesses that I'm not sure if they're also, they may be associated with um, the Craven Arts Council, but they contacted us and asked to promote their event. Okay. Um, so it's the Community Artist Gallery, and uh, that's on Middle Street. They'll be having our art walk from five to eight. Um, and then again, the Tryon Palace Museum store, which I haven't been in there in a, in a long yeah, time. I was yeah. in there. I went in there the other day, and I haven't been in forever. And uh, we saw, I saw Rob Jones. 
and mm -hmm. yeah, they got all kinds of stuff. I've totally forgot what they had. So they're going to have uh, featured artists and Carolina Colors and the Dayton Vesper in concert. Um, he's a pianist uh, and he's just incredible. And that's going to be at the Bank of the Arts. So please check out Dayton. His concert is at 630 and that's tomorrow night on the 14th. So, okay. Yeah. Still on the 14th. Boy, we got a lot on the 14th. Yeah. Put loose on the noose, the summer concert series. And we have this 142 band. I saw their picture in the paper this morning in front of a Looked like it was a, a red uh, um, muscle car. Anyway. Yeah, like a Corvette or a Mustang Something. or, yeah. yeah. So that's at 6.30 at Union Point Park and that's presented by Newburn Parks and Recreation. And their information number is 639-2915. Yeah, and, and so speaking of Rob Jones, haven't seen you in a while there, Rob. He says, hello, beautiful ladies. Hello, beautiful or handsome bearded man. <laughs> it was great seeing you the other day. It's always fun to see Rob. And uh, yeah, and, and I'm so glad Footloose on the Noose is back and the yeah. Newburgh Parks and Recreation just does so many different fun, you know, great events and uh, they have great parks and also the Craven County Recreation and Parks just finished up with the um, News River Senior Games and Art Competition. So that's done, but that was, uh, I, from what I saw uh, on the pictures, um, it was a great turnout. Oh. And then we knew, oh no, there's one more on the 14th. The Civic Theater, Newburn Civic Theater is opening their back after being dark for what, a year and a half? They're back with Greater Tuna. Greater Tuna is the funniest thing you've seen. Uh, it's two guys playing about 20 roles, male and female. Uh, it's, it's just a, a great, just fun comedy. It uh, will be this coming weekend, the 14th to the 16th, and then the next weekend too. And that's Friday through Saturday at 7 and Sunday at 2. And that's at the New Bern Civic Theater. And you can call them at 633-0567 to get a ticket and check them out for a lot of fun because we haven't been to the theater in a long time. Yeah. Well, have, has the movie theaters opened up? Do you all know that at all? Do you go I to the movies? I, when I drive by the, uh, the Bruin, they're not, I haven't seen them open, but I think that you can call and make um, uh, appointments to go. But I do know people who have been there to the movies, so they- So they're open. Something. But do y'all know about the rocking and rapping on the river? No, tell me about that. Yeah. Joe Bay's project and some guest bands. And that is um, to um, uh, help fund the uh, bike box project. Oh yeah, I nope. forgot to add it to the calendar. That's Saturday three to eight. And there's a um, uh, an event page for it on Facebook if you want to learn more about it. So that's the 15th? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, and in the bike box project, that's a, oh, actually, yeah, it's, it's right there. <laughs> You're looking at the same paper I am, I just don't have my glasses on. <laughs> so that's for a good cause, and, um, and I think, I don't think that there is a, um, it doesn't look like there's a fee to get in, but I think they're taking donations, and I think there's going to be some food there, so it looks like a fun, and Joe Bay's, any of y'all ever watch uh, Parks and Recreation? Oh, I love that show. Yeah. You know, the, you know what song he does? He does Lil Sebastian. No. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> it is so funny. I mean, everybody takes out their lighters or their phones. And, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's got it going on. It is really funny. That's, That's funny. Uh, that is so cool. Awesome. And we got a comment from Rob Jones here. Did you guys hear about the new brewery that just got its license? Freshwater Brewing on Pollock Street. Very exciting. Now, Rob, is that um, Pete Fry's Brewery 99? Is that the new name for it? I'm guessing, possibly. Y'all know? Is that the one that's across it, across from Tap That? Tap That. 
I'm guessing. I think it's he across said, the street he, from it. Yeah, he said it's uh, Freshwater Brewing on Pollock Street. So I'm guessing it's got to be the same one. And that's Pete yeah. Fry who had Brewery 99. And he's expanding. So okay. Well, um, I've seen that signs for Brewery 99 next to the barber shop there on Pollock Street. But then there's a new thing on Pollock and Fleet, I guess it is. Pollock and Fleet across from Tap That. Oh, that's well, yep. So that's not Rob just said. Nope. Yeah, across from Tap That. Across from Tap That. So okay. yeah, okay. I got we'll get out there and do a little video. So and, and they've been working on that building too, you know, renovating mm -hmm. and, and doing a lot of work on it. So it'll be exciting to see what they put together for that little corner. I don't know. Do y'all ever watch the HBO? They have this fabulous documentary uh, on there. It's called um, Our Our Towns, Our Cities, Our Towns. And uh, one of the ways that they uh, judge the success of a city or a town is how many breweries they have. <laughs> wow. That, yeah, hey, that's so true. I think we're doing pretty good. Don't we're you? gathering, aren't we? Yeah. <laughs> All right. Good. I thought that was interesting. All right. Yeah, well, we're, we're going to beat New Bern of the West. <laughs> that's, Bern. Ash, that's Asheville. Oh, okay. The New Bern of the West. Okay. So, yeah. Oh, well, we gotta, and, I'm sorry, Kathy, go, go ahead. ahead. I was going to say, you want to have something to eat to go with all your beer. Then let's talk about ribs. Oh, yeah. Mm. We got some ribs coming up. We got the New Bern Civitans are going to have a rib fundraiser May 29th from 8.30 to 11.30 at the Piggly Wiggly on Simmons at 1208 Simmons Street. And they want to take your pre-orders only. So order deadline is noon on Thursday, May 27th. So that'll be is that next week or week after. I don't know. Put the it on week your the week after next May week. 27th. So you yeah. don't forget to order because you got to order up front. A full rack is $20. And they're slow cooked and you can have them with or without sauce. So you can put your own sauce on if you like your own better. You can order by email or you can call or text Randy. Randy's the man at 252-670-9912. And what they raise will assist local charities. All right. That sounds good. Ribs sound good. It must yeah. be all that beer talk. Beer and ribs. I think that goes together. It sounds delicious. And and. Their club is uh, dedicated to helping the less fortunate with a primary focus on intellectual and developmental disabilities. So I, I remember attending an event back uh, a couple of years, well, it was a while back, but it was a special Olympics, uh, Craven oh, County, okay. and they were participating right. in that. And uh, so let's see here, Rob said Brewery 99 is its own place. So we gotta, we gotta figure out that we'll have to do a brewery map you need a you need a field trip <laughs> yeah. yeah you need a field trip yeah right. field, field trip to go seven miles down the road <laughs> <laughs> all right i'm gonna go stay tripping and marissa zinni dear marissa she said red cross blood drive thursday may 20th from 12 to 5 at the twin rivers ymca register at red cross blood dot org thank you right. marissa awesome okay do we have marianne in the wings in the uh, I, I see somebody i see it says filling station executive director that is marianne that lorraine is, all right she has so many hats that she's wearing i don't know how she does <laughs> i honestly don't know how she does it it's uh she's she's a wonder woman so all right hey. <laughs> there she is look at how fresh you oh, yeah. are and oh, that's called sweat. <laughs> <laughs> that's called sweat. I've got the Epiphany School of Global Studies, 10 high school students, and we are working out front on this gorgeous day today. And I looked at my clock. I said, I got to go. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look pretty. You look pretty amazing to be sweaty. You don't look sweaty to me. <laughs> Hey, Mary Kay, you know, <laughs> you got to wear good makeup and your makeup finishing spray so you don't sweat at the filling station. There you, there go. you go. And <laughs> and you got a lot going on at the filling station. Wow. You're yes. the executive director. You also are Mary Kay. You're, oh, you, you just do so much. So 
Tell us about it. Well, um, yes, I have come back uh, to the filling station as of um, March the 22nd. And um, the board recommended that I step in and we're having a great time, having, having a ball. And um, I've been building my Mary Kay business for 23 years. And so I wouldn't quite say it's on autopilot because I love to give good customer service to my clients, but I do have a lot of it um, online. And so I have the flexibility to be able to, to do this. I have a lot of wonderful people around me. Um, I know about this much and everybody around me knows everything else. So that makes it run, work really well. <laughs> all right. Tell folks, uh, what does the filling, sta filling station do? Tell us all about the filling station. Okay, well, the filling station, um, we actually have a three-pronged mission, connection, education, and nutrition. And we, um, our sole purpose is to meet uh, unmet needs, uh, spiritually, uh, nutritionally, and development, developmentally uh, here in the residents of Jones County. And you will see the number 1075 that's affiliated with the filling station. And the reason for that is, is that uh, this was the old Jenkins Gas and Oil home office, and uh, they sold propane here. So the 1075 is the DOT symbol that rides around on propane trucks. And so we looked up Psalm 107 verse five to see if it would give us any confirmation and direction. And it says, all those who are hungry and thirst, thirsty, their soul fainted with them. And so our sole purpose is to find a need and fill it as it relates to education and nutrition and connecting people to services that they might need. We have great partnerships. Uh, religious Community Services, Coastal Women's Shelter, Newburn Radio Club, Lenore Community College, and we um, are doing great with our food pantry. We serve about a thousand households um, right now every single month, and um, we are doing the second phase of our renovation to get classrooms ready um, and, a, and a meeting space up front. So we can have our GED class, budget finance, um, leadership class. The amateur radio club wants to start uh, equipping people to understand ham radio in the event of emergency. They understand how to use that. Um, the Newburn Radio Club here uses the old tower that the propane trucks used to use. So uh, there are people that are on this net you know, lots and lots of people. There are four counties surrounding Jones County. And so they're, they're tapping into this antenna to connect on ham radio. Great. Wow, wow. Well, you know, you're, because the internet is not good out there, right? Well, let me tell you something that's very, very cool. So Harry Brown, our Senator for 16 years, he's just now uh, retired. His main focus was education and connection, which is right in line with what we're doing. So he worked really, really hard to get the new high school. We've got a brand new high school on Highway 58. And then the second thing is to get broadband into Jones County. So um, we do have grant funds, um, worked real hard on getting a broadband grant. And uh, so Eastern North Carolina Broadband out of Pink Hill is administering that grant. And they're working with farmers and putting infrastructure on water towers, um, silos. Um, they have put a piece of infrastructure on the back of our building to tap into the water tower right behind us. So we have excellent internet. Therefore, we can provide these wonderful classes um, and really empower the community. That's, that's awesome. That's so terrific. Yeah, yes. yeah. Wow, that's wonderful. Yeah. And the town hall just moved uh, from the river up up the hill, right across the street from the filling station. So this, you know, the town is moving up the hill. Lots of really great things are happening here. A lot of buzz is happening in Jones County, and um, we love uh, all of our friends over in Craven and Newburn uh, that have just led so beautifully by example and given us great resources so we are grateful grateful good great. to see you darlene it's been a while since i've seen you <laughs> it was a good day or two. 
too, hadn't it? <laughs> yes, yes, it has. But talk about a connection woman. Darling, when I want, if I need to know somebody, I will message her and she she has that name and email and it's wonderful. Thank you, Darlene. Well, you're doing great work out there. And uh, that's a community that has been hit really hard, as we yes. all know, by Hurricane Florence. And uh, um, I think that you're filling a need out there that um, that so many people, I, mean, it's, I think it's more than like you're talking about food, but a gathering place where people can learn about things and what's happening and mm -hmm. And maybe they don't have the internet or they can't go some, they can't get the paper or, and because you don't have, if you don't have good internet service, you can't look up and see what's going on. So I think that it's, that's the heart and soul of a community like that is to have a gathering place like that where people can actually make connections and learn about things. I just think what you're doing out there is just fabulous. Well, we couldn't do it with all of our, without all of our uh, church partners. Um, we have modeled so much of what we're doing after religious community service. They've done a great job for 30 years bringing all these churches together. And so with 457 square miles and only 10,000 people, we're really spread out. So we have church partnerships from Trenton to Comfort to Maysville to Pollocksville. So it's wonderful because these churches... We all connect here, all faiths, all, it's wonderful diverse board. And um, we've had great training from Sandra Phelps at United Way and also Theresa Lee. Carol Maddox is our board advisor. You know, you can't go wrong when you've got that great leadership. I'm very grateful for Carol and her connections. Um, she asked on our board meeting yesterday, she says, well, just let me know how much longer. I said, we want you forever. <laughs> <laughs> we want your advising forever. And uh, so our church partnerships are great. I do want to say that we have a new partner, Atlantic Dance Theater, Elizabeth. Awesome. She is, she is amazing. Wow. Yes. That's that's wonderful. Yay. Yeah, that's so we're, yeah. we're, gonna, so we're working on uh, the logistics of doing a... Um, a little dance and an art camp behind the filling station. We're we're building an event venue back there with some beautiful perennials and um, and we're working with Jones County Horticulture to help us design the garden. So and they you know outdoor venues is where it's at. So we want to take advantage of this beautiful facility uh, provided by Bob and Carol Maddox. Um, so grateful for their generosity and their connections and. Um, and helping us get there. All right. If folks uh, want to reach out to you, like Wendy's going to have a bumper crop of vegetables. If she wants to yeah. reach out to you or anybody <laughs> wants to, how do they get to you? How do they yes. find you? Fillingstation1075.com is our website. So it's all lowercase, fillingstation1075.com. We do have a Facebook page, at symbol FS. That's F is in Frank, S is in Sam, 1075. And that's where you'll find us on Facebook. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I, I was going to ask you, do you still have that uh, little beautiful bed and breakfast? Yes, yes, we do. Tell um, us about I, it. Uh, the farmhouse at Mill Creek uh, opened it last year. My dad and I actually worked on that throughout the recovery of the hurricane. And so that was a fun project for he and I. That's his old home place. And we know that we, we do not have a whole lot of lodging here in Jones County. So we thought, why don't not provide a, a, a place for people to come? We host a lot of military families. In fact, we've got a military family coming in today. And um, she's going to be a grand, brand new grandmother and her son stationed at Cherry Point and is a very quiet family farm. And so whether they're at Cherry Point or Camp Lejeune, they love to, to come over and and they come from all over. It's amazing uh, where families are coming in from. So, yes, that's been a really fun adventure, too. And, and we were able to restore the old home place. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't know how many times I've, I'm like, you know, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to put Finn, uh, take him to a dog's dream because he'd rather be there than here and uh, just take off and go stay in your place. And 
Yeah. I mean, there are a lot of hiking I would trail. Pay, but yeah, I mean, I just to get out and perhaps see Woody and the animals yes. and yes, yes, it's just yeah. So I don't know if you all knew about that, Kathy or Darlene. So, no, I didn't. That's good to know. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and and you know, uh, Melissa Riggle and I are we've been friends for a really long time, and I was chatting chatting with her about what is happening, uh, visit Newburn, and and the explosion that's taking place with tourism, and and um, she and I were sharing some really fun conversation and how we can um, look at some things here in Jones County, which so I appreciate her suggestions and ideas and. Y'all are leading the way. We really appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, people just, they're flocking to New Bern. I mean, last week, uh, like New Bern now has the bright side. Um, it's a private Facebook group, but it, we welcome any, anybody as long as we follow the rules. We don't talk politics. It's just just about fun and uh, informational, you know, good information. So we we posted, uh, somebody emailed me this couple and they live up in Ohio and they wanted to know certain questions. So I posted the Brightsiders and they came back. And so I didn't include all their, you know, their full names, but I emailed the couple back and the next week they drove down here. I met with them last week and they're buying a house, but next month. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, did you get a commission? I'm like, I need, I need to talk to Melissa. <laughs> Sounds like you, you need your, your real estate license. <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Yeah, that's... Mm, Man. Yeah, I'll leave it to the realtors for that. But it was just, <laughs> it's just so fun to, to meet people from all over. And it's, you know, we just love our town. It's just, yeah. just a, you yeah. know, I say our town. I mean, you know, the greater New Bern Yes. And Jones County, yep. Pamlico, this Eastern North Carolina, you know, it's just great. So yeah, it's a real special place. And, you know, Wendy, you are amazing with your consistency and your leadership uh, detail, wanting to highlight every single thing that's going on in the area. So thank you. Thank you so much for all that you do um, for, for bringing this. You know, I think we uh, get to come to the point where we really expect things and this is a real real gift to the community and so thank you all so Kathy and Darlene for your consistency and your leadership people appreciate it so much okay thank okay. you and and you know I gotta give a shout out um I don't know if, if everyone's heard if you're watching uh Randy uh Foster joined us I think we yes. merged um the end of March Mm -hmm. So now, you know, we're filling in the blanks of local news and media that is, is kind of missing. And I'm, right. not, I'm not trying to, you know, say anything bad about any other media. I, I support, you know, the TV and anyway, um, but this is just so much fun learning about the people and, and trying to connect people with the people and the places. It's just a it's an adventure. It's, it I, is. I, we don't look at it as a job, you know, so I think that's, you know, you got to love what you do to do it with, with passion. So absolutely. Yeah. Uh, Marianne yeah. Larray, we really thank you for coming and, and for all the work that you're doing at the film and everywhere out there. And thank you for coming and spending time with us today. I yeah. enjoyed hanging out with you girls. I think I hear somebody calling for me. I need to get out, <laughs> out there and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous day. But I personally invite you to come and visit with me. Have a cup of coffee. Let's chat right here. Would love for you all to come and uh, share in this internet. Maybe do one of these here one time from-, from Definitely, you know, yes. Use we're the gonna, boardroom. We're going to- very soon we're going to venture back out and start yeah. doing like what we did before you know visit the different nonprofits and businesses to showcase yeah like this is the filling station or wherever we're at that's you know, right all right yeah, so but thank you Mary. It's, it's always great seeing you and, and give jeremy a big hug for me so i will uh, we love you guys have love a great you day. all too thank you. <laughs> hey we'll see you on the streets of newburn right yeah <laughs> Yes, right. we will. See ya. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> See you later. All right. All right. Did we have anybody who has answered our uh, trivia?
I'm still we flogging should, the trivia here. We should have posed the question to Mary Ann. Okay. Oh, I bet just she knows look, the answer. Okay. Before Good. we get to the trivia, can I just announce real quick? Yes, The farmer's market this mm -hmm. Saturday, just go and support the local farmers. And actually all this week through, I think it's Saturday, it may even be Sunday, we have N Plen, no, we have Plen Air yeah. New Bern. Mm -hmm. So it's P L E I N Air New Bern dot com, I think, and maybe dot org. But there's all kinds of, you know, there's artists all around the streets of New Bern. They've come nat from all over the country. So um, check out the farmer's market and uh -huh. check them out every Saturday from uh, 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. And uh, if, for more events, visit newburnnow.com. Uh, we have our community calendar. And the trivia question is, what is the name of the ferry across the News River? It's upstream from New Bern, and it was established prior to 1730. And its name sounds like you're on solid ground. All right. Anybody got it? You want the answer? Anybody? Anybody? I thought Let's everybody. See, come on, you guys. Rob Jones, you know this. Colleen, Judy, Colleen. Marissa. OK, are you ready? I think, I think one of our schools are out that way. Yes. Yeah, that, okay. is that a hint? I it's, out, it's, it's near my house because I recently stopped to read the sign that I've passed, <laughs> I don't know how many, hundreds of, probably a thousand times. All right, yes. should we tell them? Should we tell them? Any guesses? Anybody? Anybody? No. Okay. All yeah. Right. Okay. Everybody knows this. It's Streets Ferry. You, it's right where Streets Ferry Road is. It's eight miles upstream from New Bern. It was established prior to 1730 by a fellow named Richard Graves. And later it was owned by a guy named Samuel Street. So that's where the name comes, Samuel Street. He operated a crossing point there in the early 1800s. And George Washington crossed on that ferry on his southern tour in the 1790s. And it was there uh, after the Civil War and was a rope or a cable pull operation where they pulled it across on the cable. And then in the 1940s, it was a uh, flat boat with an outboard motor. And you know when they finally built a bridge there? Finally built a bridge there in 1961. Wow. So it wasn't until then that there was a bridge over the noose at that streets ferry crossing. So wow. anyway, so there was your history. So that's your warm up for the New Bern history quest. I can't wait. Yeah, I'm. I'm gonna sign. We're gonna sign up New Bern now, Pod Squad. We'll have to get an old station wagon or something. Uh, rent, rent a, rent a, whatever, rent, rent a bus. There you go. Um, what, whatever vehicle you want with up to six people in it. Up to six people. Up to okay, six. so there's a limit. There's a limit. You can't, you can't get a 35 passenger school bus. No. Okay. <laughs> well, you guys, I, I can't thank you enough for joining us. And Darlene, I'm so glad you, you joined the pod squad. So um, yeah, this is fun stuff. And I hope you all had fun. And yeah, if you have information, send your announcements to Wendy, stories, events, anything you, you want her to talk about. And she'll add them to the calendar and on New Bern Now's website. And let her know if you'd like to be a guest on this show, or if you have any questions or suggestions, give them a call at 252-259-6853, or send an email to info at newburnnow.com. Yeah. Well, is that a wrap, folks? That's a wrap. We want you to join us on May 20th, and that's the next time around from 1 to 2. And we'll Zoom live on New Burn Now's Facebook page. And the video and audio will be uploaded on newburnnow.com, YouTube, iTunes, and wherever you listen to podcasts. And let's also plug WNOS 103.9 FM, where you'll hear this every Wednesday at 8 a.m. and 5 p.m. I think yes. that's it. I, I, well, I think that's a wrap. <laughs> I think that's a wrap. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Have a great day, folks. Thanks All right, for listening. Folks, thank you. Thanks for watching. <laughs> 